Howdy y'all, Fast Force 289. So tonight what we're gonna be doing is installing a clutch pedal assembly with new bushings and all that into my car for a uh, manual transmission conversion that I'm gonna be doing. So we'll go through and the parts and look at what we got and uh, yeah, let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, you have to excuse the mess here. I'm cleaning the garage right now. I got stuff everywhere, but so this is the clutch pedal assembly here. I got the brake pedal. I already went, I went ahead and put the pads on with the trim ring. It didn't have any pads when I got this set up. You can order. You can actually cut your factory. If you have just a, if you're going from automatic like I am to a manual, you can cut your factory brake pedal because the brake pedal is like out here and you can cut it to the right size. But I went ahead and got the correct pedals for my car. This is a pedal assembly for a 68, 69 Ford Fairlane or Torino. And so I went ahead and I got new bushings and everything for it. I'm not going to use this hanger. I'm going to use the one that's in the car. Just take the pedals out of my car or the pedal out of my car and put these pedals in. But when you're doing these trim rings, they're very easy. You just bend these tabs over. You put the rubber piece on. It's self-explanatory. And then you bend these tabs over and hold the trim ring on. Easy stuff. I didn't feel like I didn't see the point in showing it because it's very simple. But got that. That's the pedals. And I'm going to be going to a hydraulic clutch. So it's gonna look like this. This is the master cylinder and the reservoir and all that and the uh, conversion kit. Ford got it from Master Power Brake, or I'm sorry, <laughs> Modern Driveline. I got it from Modern Driveline. And then here, this is be the uh, that's the slave cylinder for the transmission. Now, whenever you're doing this, um, this this kit that I got for like the, you can't find. I couldn't find the pads. Or the trim ring for a 68 Fairlane or Torino. So what I ended up doing was going to CJ Pony Parts. And I ordered the pads and trim ring for a, a 68 Mustang. It's the exact same thing. Obviously it works on here. Same thing. Same thing for the bushings. Ford used the same size bushings and all for all their cars like this back in the 60s. So this is actually for a Mustang as well. And I don't know why it says 74 to 04 clutch pedal pivot bushings. On their website it said like 65 to to 04 so whatever it must be a misprint but these are the new bushings to make the pedal assembly nice and tight in the car and this is more of the conversion kit we'll get into that'll be another video i just want to give you a quick glimpse of the stuff that i got this is that and here's the uh this is that master cylinder kit to bracket the bolts to the firewall and the reservoir and all that and nuts and bolts and i'll show you how to do that as well all right so to get this pedal out and I'll show you when we get ready to do it, but there's a pin. And look, you see that pin right there? That'll pull out in this direction. On the other side, there's a clip, a clip, which I'll show you on the pedal assembly I got out of the car because it's easier to see. But we gotta pull that out and the brake pedal will come straight down. All right, so you can see here, this is the clip I was talking about. It's like a spring clip kind of thing. You have to Prior to that, you see how that little ear is sitting on the pin there. This is the actual pin. This will pry out and then slide down, and you can pop it off of here. And then your clutch pedal, which is also your pin. When you have automatic, it's just a pin, and you pull the pin out. With the manual, the clutch pedal is your pin. You can see it's welded to the pin right here. So you just pull your clutch pedal out, and then your brake pedal will come down out of the middle. And then your bushings will go in here. You have bushings that go in here and here. And then also for the brake pedal in here. And that's the thing when you're getting those bushings like I showed you, you're gonna need six bushings for a manual and four for an automatic if you're redoing really your clutch pedal or your uh, clutch slash brake pedal assembly. Also on this, since we're going hydraulic, we don't need the spring anymore. This would be for a spring that sits in here. And the spring basically just helps you actuate the clutch pedal to, cause these cars came with steel linkage clutches, which were very stiff. And the spring helps you push the clutch in, makes it easier to push the clutch. And instead of you doing all the work, the spring will help push it down. And we won't need that anymore. I'm not gonna cut this off cause I don't think, it'll, if it interferes, I'll cut it off. But I don't think it will. But this here, the one in my car now don't have this piece cause my car was originally an automatic. And uh, so I'm not gonna worry about taking this piece off of here and putting it on there cause there's no need. But I'll leave this, I'm not gonna cut it off or anything. Unless like I said, it gets in the way, then I'll do something about it. But our uh, 
master cylinder for the hydraulic clutch or bolt in here where the rod would have went for the manual. So yeah, this is a, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this, this clip here out. You just wanna pry it like that. It should slide down. And then just like that, and now it's off. And now our brake pedal can slide right out like that. Okay, so upon investigating, I found something that's kind of interesting. I knew this had been done. Somebody had changed this, and you'll see when we get back up on it. You've probably seen it earlier when I showed you, but somebody added this this is not original this ain't factory somebody has done this to this car um and actually theoretically it's better these are brass bushings instead of the plastic like originally which is actually an improvement um but i'm not wanting to go through the processes of removing this entire thing out of my car because you gotta unbolt it from the firewall which means i gotta take my power brake booster off and all that again unbolt it from the dash the steering column steering column has to be pulled out all that it's a it's a whole thing. And I'm not looking into getting into all that right now. When I get the car redone, I might, I won't be putting this one in. But what I think I might do is they sell a roller bearing conversion kit for these that I can perform on my other one or even this one if I wanted to. And then I might swap it out. But for now, I'm just going to use the one that's in the car. Um, but what I found is they not only put brass bushings in the, that, in the support but they put them in the brake pedal too, which is kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is, ordinarily your plastic bushings would go in here like this. But as you can see, they're not going to go because it's too tight. So I'm not going to worry about cutting these out or pressing them out. They're still good. It's tight. I checked it on the, the rod. As you can see, whenever I go to install this, it's a nice tight fit. And it don't it has like no play at all very little so that's good so theoretically i only need the four bushings for this but and then i'll use the plastic bushings to replace my originals in my carrier underneath the car that's in there now and this will work on the ends here so you have one that goes here and then one on the other your brake pad will go on like this like so and then another bushing and then the clip and then it'll all be one thing and I'll make sure I just grease all this up. I grease this pin up really good. These bushings will be greased. These will be greased up good. Everything will work like it's supposed to. But I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, sometimes it's the kind of stuff you run into with these old parts. It's kind of neat though. So, very cool. All right, so to install that hydraulic master cylinder, you see this little cutout looking thing this is a factory plug and this is where the factory clutch rod would have come through at if this car had a manual so what we got to do is we got to punch that out and then drill a hole up there and down here to mount the uh to mount the the uh, master cylinder bracket to and then we can bolt the master cylinder up in place and this is just take a hammer and a punch there's no easy way to film this so I'm going to have to do it off camera, then show you afterward. But just take a hammer and a punch and punch that out. It'll pop right out. It's not hard to do at all. So I'm going to go ahead and get that punched out and get that ready to go. All right, so this is what I got so far. It was uh, a little bit of a trouble getting down in here to get all them holes cut. Uh, but yeah, I finally got it. I got all three of them cut. Now I just need to clean it up a little bit more, get the file in there, and clean up that edge a little bit more at the top here. Found it off a little bit more. And I'm going to try to get to one here to clean this up, make it flat, maybe put a coat of paint on here. And then we can put the bracket on with the master cylinder for the hydraulic clutch on this side. When you're up underneath the dash, what we got to do is you can see how it cut out there. And that's all good. But the problem is we got to modify this, this bracket a little bit. We got to modify this bracket here a little bit. What you gotta do is, cause we gotta take this bolt here out and we gotta cut it right about here. Cause that bracket that goes on the inside to help reinforce the firewall for it and also has the lever on it to push the clutch in or the master cylinder, I mean, 
it comes down and you actually this bolt will go in through the other side in inside instead of inside the car to go from the firewall in instead of the inside out so we're gonna take this off take this plate off and cut it i'm gonna put the, the bracket up here and see how far down i need to cut it we'll cut this off so then the bracket will fit in here and that'll be good to go that bolt is seven sixteenths we're gonna take it out All right, so in order to put this bracket in here, your this is up against the firewall. This is cut out for the clutch rod hole, which is fine for this. But when we get right here, this is the way it's gonna sit in there, something like that. So we got to cut that out to make it fit. So we're gonna, I'm gonna cut this off right here and then we'll cut it off right here and I'll still reuse this in the car to help, even though it's, not, it's just gonna be help holding the gasket in place. But it'll be this little section here we're going to cut out. Everything else will still hold. Like it's supposed to, you have these two bolts to hold the steering column. I guess, you know, in a way, it could lose some rigidity for this holding the steering column. But it ain't like it's that holding that much pressure anyway. So this will be just fine. So I'm going to cut that off and we'll get back to it. All right. So as you can see, this is how it'll look in the car. I cut this off now. So then that piece will fit in here like it's supposed to. Um, yeah, so that looks good. You see how I cleaned it up? I ground it down, sanded it and everything. So, painted it so it doesn't rust. And then right there, same thing. That's where it got stuck to the box a little bit, but it's nice and smooth. So, that's good. Let's get it put in the car. All right, one thing to note, as you see how this rounded edge right here, it goes toward the passenger side. The flat side goes down, and this side goes toward the driver's side fender apron. And they also said put a thin layer of silicone on here for sealant between the master cylinder and the spacer block. All right, so I went ahead and got the bushings installed in the pedals here. It just comes apart like this. And I went, I put some wheel bearing grease on the shaft here, made, the, made sure the shaft was clean. Here's one bushing here. I put a bu uh, grease on the shaft and on the bushings. And Ordinarily on a manual, you need four bushings, but what had happened is sometime in the past, this pedal assembly I got, somebody put brass bushings in here, which is actually better than the plastic ones, actually. Uh, they did it in the hanger as well, but I'm not changing the entire hanger assembly, so. But, uh, so I just greased the bushings up that they put in here. I got, you need two plastic bushings for this. A bushing will slide all the way on the shaft. You'll start to, and, uh, Ordinarily, a bushing will go in here, and you put this up in the assembly. As a matter of fact, I'll show you on this one here that I got. So this is what the assembly looks like underneath the dash. So ordinarily, you would have a bushing. You slide into here, like that. You put a bushing right here, and a bushing here, and this will slide up in the hole, like so. You slide your pin through. And then another bushing on this side and then your clip and then that's all together so i'm gonna go ahead and put this in the car i'm not going to show you underneath the dash it's very tight it's hard to get underneath there but uh that's all there is to it it's very basic very simple all right so we got the master cylinder installed uh it was kind of a pain i know i didn't video that because yeah it was a lot more in depth than i thought and i'll explain that later i'll get more in that later i'll explain it but we got it installed, got the clutch pedal installed. Now I got to run this reservoir. I got to figure out where my mount it. There's a couple places I've thought about. One being right here. I thought there's already an indention right here. I could drill that out and then mark the other hole and drill it and have it bolted right here and have the line run down and around the shock tower underneath the master cylinder and come back and run straight into that barb fitting right there. I don't like the way that looks. What I'm thinking about trying to do is mount it back here. It's a tighter spot, but it's more secluded and it's hidden back here. And it is taller, it has to be higher than the, the master cylinder itself, which it is. Not by a whole lot, but it is higher and that's all you need, just so gravity can feed it. And it's actually about the same height as if I mounted it right here. Because by the time you put the hose down and route it up this way and come down, it's about the same. 
But what I like about back there is that it's hidden. It blends in. You don't even know it really. You wouldn't even know the car has a hydraulic clutch unless you come over here and look and see that right there. And it's kind of hidden too with all those brake lines and the brake booster hiding it and the wires and all. So I think I'm gonna try to get back in here and mark it. I gotta find me a good spot that I could punch it and drill it and uh, get it bolted up. So we're gonna get into that now. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this up in place and mark it so I can drill it. Okay, so I got one hole marked. We'll go ahead and punch that. And then when I get it screwed up here, I can uh, I can then mark it and drill it. So. So I'll go ahead and put this screw in here. Then I can mark the other hole and punch it out and drill it. One of the good things about having a screw in it like this to hold it is you can get this position where you need it and hold it in place for you while you mark it. Make sure that it's level and everything. That looks pretty good right there. Right, so I went ahead and marked my hose where I want to cut it. good now that should be good to go all right so there we go i got that mounted on the back there now so that looks good got the hose run down the hose is still up higher if you look the hose is still above the master cylinder it's hard to see in here but so that's good and then on uh, the back fitting, that's for the uh, slave cylinder, which I haven't got installed yet. So, But now the reservoir is installed and the hose is run. All we got to do is fill it up with fluid. And you can see right here, I have plenty of room. I can get in here, take the cap off. It's a little bit tight, but I can even get this out. Just like that. I can fill it up with a funnel if I want to. I can put this back in. The cap goes right on. And this is still accessible. That's where you bleed it at. You put an air nozzle in there, put about five PSI pressure on there, and that'll help self bleed the system out when you get ready to bleed it. So that's good, that's still accessible. And what I like about this, Stand back and look at it. It blends in. You don't even really notice it. It's completely hidden. Yeah, it looks better in my opinion than being right here. It looked okay right here. That would have looked factory as well. Being right there, honestly. But the only way I could figure out to do it is either run the hose up over this, which I didn't like. Or run it kind of here, put like a clip on this bolt. And then run it down and through here. And around i didn't really like that either this way it's completely hidden it looks factory but it's also hidden to where you won't really notice it so that's nice i like that that looks good and i just routed the hose the reason why i routed it around like that instead of just coming straight into it i could have come straight onto it like that the reason why is for one to, to get it more hidden more concealed but also i wanted it I want it more tucked up underneath this bracket and all. Closer, as close to the firewall as I possibly could. I didn't want it hanging out. So see now it's nice and tucked up nice and close to the firewall. And it looks a lot cleaner that way. So there we go. And here we go. I want to show you the, the clutch pedal assembly and all that. I got that installed. Uh, 
I didn't videotape it because y'all would not believe just how tight it is underneath this dash trying to work. I mean, it is really tight. He's got his vent in the way, which I could have took out to make more room, but it's just, there's not a whole lot of room back up in here. You can see how tight all this fits. I mean, it fits really tight to the steering column, the firewall, everything. It's all tight, but it does all work. You can see when I push the clutch pedal in, everything works smoothly. There's no binding. It's nice and smooth. So, yeah. And now we got the clutch pedal installed. And I think it looks good. It looks really nice. But it was extremely tight in there. And then, because having to put this clutch pedal in, that clutch pedal is part of your rod. You can see up in there, it goes through the, the brake pedal. I don't know how much you can see my radio in the way right now, but it goes through in the pin. And that wasn't even the hard part. The hardest part is getting up in here. Besides showing y'all what I'm doing. The hard part is getting up in here and installing this bolt with these washers, these heim joints, and getting this all adjusted properly and getting it where it worked properly. This was a real pain trying to get up in here and uh, and get all this situated. Cause you got a pin right here you gotta put in. You got a pin right here you gotta put in. Another bolt back in here. And it is, uh, it's a very tight fit. And you gotta adjust this clevis. This is for the rod, for the master cylinder. You gotta adjust this clevis. Then this is adjustable, which actually is maxed out all the way in as far as it'll go. Which is also how they showed in the picture for it being for these cars. So yeah, and the clutch pedal is at the factory spot. Like that's at the stop right there. It might be just a little bit below the stop because there's a little bit of play. But that's pretty much all the way up where the factory would have been. It's pretty much even with the brake pedal, which is how it's supposed to be. Actually, I think from the factory, these were a little bit higher than the brake pedal, but they were close. Like it's very close to being the same. You know, you can see it from the side. It's, it's a touch higher, but it's pretty close and it works. So now I got my brake pedal hooked back up. We're good. And yeah, yeah, it looks good. Everything works like it's supposed to. Like I said, no binding, works smoothly. So good to go. Okay, so we stepped in, in the house. Uh, my phone was dying, so I had to come in inside to finish the video up. But that's how you install the clutch pedal and the new bushings is very simple, very easy, nothing to it. Just make sure you put some grease on there. Let it help keep them working for a long time, keep everything working smoothly. And uh, that's all there is to it. If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And as always, subscribe if you're not subscribed already and uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.